In FrameMaker, it's possible to create footnotes either in body text or in tables. Sometimes tables footnotes come as a surprise to people because they've simply never tried it. Let's start out with a regular uh, footnote in the body text. We simply go to special footnote. Notice that uh, our text has dropped to the bottom of the page and I'll just say um, we're making a note here about uh, carved wood defined in Wikipedia. Now there's a little trick. If you want to go back to where you've uh, placed the footnote reference, which is right up here to type more text, you can use a keyboard shortcut, Escape SF, as in special footnote. So we have special methodology and further methods. And let's say that we want to make another footnote here, Escape SF, and we have another footnote, Escape SF pops us right back up here to the text where the reference is. <clears throat> By the way, if the text with the footnote is cut, as I'm doing right here, notice it was the second footnote, and let's say that I paste it right up here, you'll notice that it becomes the first footnote. It will move just as will anchored frames. Now you can use the exact same technique to actually create footnotes in tables. And you'll notice that they will look a little bit different. Let's start out with the traditional way using our pull down menus. We'll simply go special footnote, and notice that we drop to the bottom of the table and notice that we can, in this case we're getting alpha ABC instead of 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> so we'll make a note that uh, pot metal is commonly available in the USA. Once again we can go escape SF to add more and if we wanted to add something else to it, pot metal and um, copper plating. And we wanted to put in another footnote, escape SF. You'll see that it will drop down below the other footnote, and we'll just say um, using common chemicals. If we were to move the footnote from one table to another, um, and that if that's possible to do as well, we can see that this is a simple table format B. If I were to go over here and create another table, and perhaps we want to do a simple table format B, <clears throat> perhaps a very simple one. We just wanted to have three columns and three rows. And let's see what that looks like. Here we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some text. Add some text right here. As with the other footnote, if we were to uh, select the text that includes the table footnote and cut it, and I'm going to do this with Control X, notice if I paste it over here, that it brings the footnote with it. So here you can see that this has become footnote A and let's go ahead and do the same thing with pot metal. We'll just use the word pot, go ahead and cut that out <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and place it so it becomes the first footnote. So we now have a footnote A and a footnote B. You might wonder where these numbers come from. They're actually controlled under format um, document numbering and there's a number of things that uh, take place on the document level but one of them is footnotes and table footnotes and you notice that from footnotes you have a huge range of styles to choose from. Um, most Western publishers will just use the top four which are numeric through um, alpha but you'll see that there's a number of Asian formats below that and for table formats the same thing but once again most people tend to prefer um, alpha or sometimes symbols. They will sometimes use symbolic formats. That's all there is to it. It's just that simple and your table footnote styles will be imported with document properties if you import styles from one document to another. This completes our brief FrameMaker 11 demonstration.